Hello, my friends. This is our last lesson on sentence analysis. This is sentence analysis advanced. So if you have done the red sentence analysis, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the light purple, the dark purple, and the pink, you are now ready for this one. So with this one, we start with really big sentences. And we're going to take them apart and put them in all these different spaces, or some of these different spaces. They might not fill up all of them. We will start with our predicate or our verb, and we'll ask who or what is it, and who or what did they do? Just like we had been doing on the rainbow ones. But this one adds a few more things. How, what for, why, where, whence, to whom, to what, for whom, for what, with whom, with what, by means of whom, by means of what, by whom, by what, and when. You won't use all of these, and some of them, like whence, you might not use very often at all, but they're there just in case. So let's start with our sentence here. This one says, Jonathan built a fort with Christopher in the living room yesterday so Miss Robin could use it for a math lesson. I'm going to put it, oh, there's no real good place to put this, so I guess I'll put it, I don't know. I'll put it right here for now so we can kind of sort of see it. Oh, you know what? If I turn it sideways, you can see it. There we go. And then I have another copy that I can cut up. Okay, so let's start with our our verb, Jonathan built. Built, we know, is a verb. That's an action. So let's cut out built and let's put it right here. Built. Now, who is it that built? We know that Jonathan. It's in our thing here. Jonathan built. So let's cut out Jonathan and put him there. Because we know he is our who. So Jonathan built, what did Jonathan build? Jonathan built a fort. So let's cut out a fort. So Jonathan built a fort. Now we're going to start answering all these other questions. Let's start with where. Where did Jonathan build the fort? Jonathan built a fort with Christopher in the living room. He built a fort in the living room. So let's cut out in the living room and put it on where. Let's look at why. Why did Jonathan build a fort in the living room? Well, it says here, Jonathan built a fort it with Christopher in the living room yesterday so Miss Robin could use it for a math lesson. So we know he built a fort so I could use it for a math lesson. So let's cut out that part. So Miss Robin could use it for a math lesson. Look, we're we're running out of stuff. All we have yesterday or all we have left is with Christopher and yesterday. So we know Jonathan built a fort and we know he did it in the living room and he did it so I could use it for, for a math lesson. Who did he build it with? With whom? He built it with Christopher. So let's put this part right there, with Christopher. And when did he build this fort? Yesterday. Jonathan built a fort with Christopher in the living room yesterday so Miss Robin could use it for a math lesson. That's how it all breaks down. Let's do one more. Can you guys hear, hear my puppies walking around? Their nails are clinking. Okay. Miss Robin ran super fast because she was chasing her dog Hershey down the street. True story, I've had to do that before. So we're gonna put that right here. There is our sentence. And we're gonna start with our verb. What did I do? 
I ran. So let's cut out ran. Here's ran. And who is it that ran? Miss Robin ran. Let's cut out Miss Robin. Miss Robin is who that who ran. How did I run? Or what? What did I run? I ran fast. So let's put fast right there. I ran fast, but now I have all these other words still to put on there. How did I run? I ran super fast. So let's put the super on how. We'll cut it out here. I ran super fast. Why? Why did I run super fast? Because I was chasing my dog. So let's cut out because she was chasing her dog. That's why I ran super fast. It's, this could also go in what for? They kind of go together. And where did I run super fast? I ran super fast down the street. So let's cut out down the street. Here is where I ran. I ran super fast down the street. And who did I run with? I was running well, I was running with Hershey, but I could have been running for Hershey. So she, this, this could, could go in either one. But there is how this sentence all breaks down. So my friends, if you want to find this work, it is called Sentence Analysis Advanced, and you will find it in Google Classroom underneath grammar. But remember, you need to do all of the other sentence analysis first before you come to this one. Have a great time, my friends. Bye.